Welcome to this LibreOffice lesson. This time, more on financial functions and using Calc's Goal Seek feature. One last function related to the payment function to mention is the FV function, future value. The future value function provides a way to calculate how much a savings account with a fixed interest rate will yield after a given amount of time. Here I have a table set up for a savings account with an interest rate of 10%. I'm planning on putting $100 in it every month for 10 years. The $100 is negative because I'm giving it to the bank temporarily. I'll get it back in the end, hopefully. So how much will I have in 10 years? In B4, I'll use the FV function to find out. Type into B4 equals FV, enter. First parameter is the rate. This is the APR divided by 12 to get the monthly rate. So click B1, then divided by 12, comma. Next is the NPER, number of periods. This will be the years times 12 to get the monthly payment periods. So click B2, then times 12, comma. Next is the payment amount. This is the amount in B3 I'm depositing. So click B3. The next parameter, PV, is present value. If there was already money in the account, I would put that amount here. But I'm starting from nothing, so this can be left out. The type can also be left out, since I'm making the deposits at the end of each period. If I were making them at the beginning of each period, I'd put a 1 here. Press Enter. And there's how much I'll have after 10 years. Not bad. The payment function can also be used for savings account. If you had a goal amount you wanted to reach after so many years, you can use the payment amount to find out how much you needed to deposit each month. For instance, I want to have $50,000 after 10 years in a savings account with a 10% fixed interest rate. How much would I have to put away each month? In B11, type equals PMT, press enter. First parameter, the rate. That's the APR divided by 12. So click B8, type divided by 12, comma. Next, the number of periods. That will be B9 years times the number of months. So click B9, then times 12, comma, present value. If there was money already in the savings, I would put that amount here, but I'm starting from nothing again, so I don't need to put anything in this parameter, comma, FV, future value. That's the amount I'm aiming for, so click B10. Type, as usual, is end of each period, so it can be left out. Press Enter. And that's what my monthly deposits would have to be if I wanted $50,000 at the end of 10 years. For more complicated goal-seeking operations, Calc's Goal Seek feature is a good way to go. On this spreadsheet, I want to buy a car. I don't want to spend over $400 a month. The bank will give me a 3.9% interest rate for a five-year loan. So the first thing I'll do is make a guess as to the price of the car. I'll start with $25,000. It doesn't really matter what amount you start with. It'll be modified by Goal Seek anyway. Now, in B5, I use the payment function to calculate the payments. Goal Seek will want the payment amount to be a positive. In order to do that, type equals, then a minus, PMT, press enter. First parameter, the rate. 
click B3. Then divide by 12 for the periodic rate. Comma. Number of periods, click B4. Then times 12 for the years times months. Comma. Next, the PV, present value. That's B2. Click B2. I don't need the next two parameters, future value or type, so press Enter. 459.29. That's a bit above my budget. I could change the amount in B2 until I find one I want, but there's a quicker way. Use Calc's Goal Seek feature. First, click the cell that contains the formula, B5. GoalSeek uses the cell to recalculate the formula. Now, to bring up GoalSeek, you can go to the Tools menu, then choose GoalSeek, or use the menu shortcut, hold down Alt, press TG. In the dialog, make sure the formula cell is the one with the formula, B5. Then type into the target value the amount of the payments you want to pay. My budget requires $400 a month, so $400 here. Next, click the variable cell text box. Now click the cell with the loan amount, B2. This will be the cell goal seek will change, so you can reach your payment goal. Press OK. Another dialog comes up with the price of the car that would fit the payments of $400 a month. So I would have to find a car priced under $21,772.94 to fit my budget. You can now choose to have it insert the results into the cells of the table. I'll choose yes. Goal seeks a good way to calculate a value that you're seeking, which might be complicated to do with formulas. One last thing, I was asked about quarterly payments with the payment function. The obvious answer is to use 4 rather than 12 when dividing the yearly interest rate, and a 4 times the number of years for the number of periods. But you can also set your tables up in a more versatile way to calculate any type of loan. Here's an example. This is a setup a business which offers different types of loans would use. Now, to make this work, in the total period cell, D4, I need to calculate the total periods of the loan. This will be the periods per year times the number of years. So click in D4 and type equals, click B3, then times, click D3. Press Enter. Next, in D5, I need the periodic rate. That'll be the APR divided by the periods per year. So in D5, type equals, click B4, divided by, click D3. Press Enter. You'll get a division by zero error. Don't worry about that. It'll go away when the other cells are filled. Now finally, the payment function. This will be simpler because all the calculations will already be made. In B8, type equals PMT. Press Enter. Rate is the periodic rate in D5. Click D5, comma. Number of periods is the total periods in D4. Click D4, comma. Present value is the loan amount in B2. Click B2, comma. FV, future value. That'll be balloon payments. Click B5. Comma. For type, click B6. Press Enter. You'll get another division by zero error. Never mind that for now. Before I make a calculation, we need to format the cells. Click B2, then hold down Control, and click B5 and B8 to highlight the three cells. 
Then press Control Shift 4 to format them for currency. Now click B4, hold down Control, click D5 to highlight those cells, then press Control Shift 5 to format them for percentages. Now let's do a calculation. We have a business loan for $200,000 at a percentage rate of 2.9% for 10 years, with a balloon payment of $10,000, the payments will be made quarterly. In B2, type 200,000. In B3, type 10 for years. In B4, type 2.9 for the APR. Into B5, 10,000. Then into D3, type 4 for the periods per year to make it quarterly. Press Enter, and there's the payment amount. By setting up tables this way, you can calculate any fixed interest loan, like the car loan I had earlier. Type 25,000 in B2. 5 for the years in B3, APR was 3.9 in B4, delete the balloon payment, change the periods per year to 12 in D4, press enter, and there you have it. If the type of loan is at the beginning of each period, you would type a 1 into B6. Beginning of the month is usually used in leases, so this will usually be left out or a zero. But it's there in case you need it. So a very versatile setup. That's it. Thanks for watching. Happy calculating.